And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Starfield, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, let's get into it. frantic on the comms towards the end there, but it sounded like this was a success. Got everything we need to put this plan in motion. Place for them. Now, my connection might have gotten a bit fuzzy there, but do I have it right that Bay Victus knew about this damn plant? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> Guess the old Admiral must have told someone what he learned. Even he's not clever enough to pull off an attack like that from the great beyond. is that clever but it's clear someone knows about the plant and realized what ends it could be put towards captain we need to get these samples back to the lab and verify we'll be able to handle cleaning up the leeches as well as the terramorphs but in the interim do you think you could look into what we uncovered see if you can turn up any information on who might have committed the attacks if it were me i started the scene of the crime new atlantis Thank you, Captain. Once you finish your investigation, we'll meet you outside the cabinet chambers. They're gonna want to hear this. Take care of yourself. No telling who might be involved. Visiting Lantinian Nets left me with a longing for Nira. But... Nothing. This was possible. Atlantis. I'm putting in a Was there thing. something you... I hope we have what you...
messages to SSNN are getting through. Ships separated. Engaging drive. you think you heard on the 
this recording, but I sincerely hope you didn't come to the wrong conclusions. After all, given the Cabinet's current state of anxiety, they might misinterpret such a discovery to mean I could have been involved with the attacks. Perhaps I can convince you to keep this among us. already 
already sent along the evidence of Orlaise's role in the attacks to the cabinet, leaving out my own involvement. All I ask is that you confirm as much to the cabinet. Tell them that it was Orlaise and Orlaise alone. After all, I do still have a long list of threats to the UC. This needn't be the end of our good works together. That is a pity, Captain. But I am in no position to negotiate. Though we needn't be enemies, you and I. Just think about the opportunity I've provided here. There are more on the horizon. If you do the right thing. It is pleasing to sp Did you need- I will watch your back. Perfect timing. We just got in. So on our end, good news. The Microbe and the Aceles are both as effective against heat leeches as they are against Terramorphs. Means either plan should work for clearing those critters off our worlds. Considering what the Lazarus plant is capable of, I don't think we can deal with those things fast enough. I already sent along info to the Cabinet to get them up to speed. So what about your end? Did you find anything? Any leads on who might have committed the attacks? Orlais? Reginald Orlais? He did this? I didn't think he was still alive. You're sure it was him? If he is responsible, let us hope the Cabinet deals with it swiftly and harshly. That's some impressive work. So then give us the rundown. Where's Orlais now? Were you able to bring him in? I'm sorry to hear that. Those sorts of missions are always tough. Any idea why he might have done it? Or what he was doing with the plant? Aha! Uh -huh. That makes sense. Plenty of abandoned tech for an old warmonger to pilfer there. Instead, he stumbles on the plant and finds the perfect way of getting back at the UC for trying to put him on trial. Decides to use the plant against the people that destroyed his old life. I can see that. Well, at least he won't be able to hurt anybody else now. Might be the best we could ask for, given the circumstances. So I guess there's nothing else to do but get this all in front of the cabinet. Unless there were other things we needed to discuss. This might be our last opportunity to talk things through before the Cabinet weighs in on a decision regarding the Terramorphs. They are. Microbe needed minimal adjustment to account for heat leech anatomy. 
And the Asili seem like they're even better at tracking leeches than morphs. Hell of a sight to watch, though, when they catch them. Like an open airlock guzzling angry spaghetti. <laughs> And here we go. Welcome back, all of you. I wish we were meeting under better circumstances. But according to Hadrian's report and the second one I just received, it seems the Terramorph attack on New Atlantis was no random occurrence, but a planned strike. Is what I'm reading here true? My god. An attack? Using terror morphs? How is that possible? You will all receive a full briefing once we're done here. So then, is what the second report claims correct? Did Reginald Orlais commit these attacks, Captain? That appears to be the case, ma'am. The captain tracked that information down just after our trip to Londinian. Reginald Orlais? Wasn't there a report he'd been killed recently? Body was found floating around Etheria. Report mentioned you were sent to try and bring him in, Captain. I guess that didn't go according to plan. Ah, yes. I was told about your mission, and who ordered it. Did you two suspect at the time Orlais might have been involved in the attacks? Hmm. Well, it appears you are ahead of the curve. This report contains definitive evidence Orlais triggered the attacks via this Lazarus plant the Captain and Major Sanan uncovered. Simply heroin. Indeed. Though it would have been preferable for him to have finally faced the UC's justice, it seems both of you are to be commended for ensuring he was dealt with before he could strike again. You have our thanks. Now, with our villain unmasked, we can attend to the other matters at hand. With the threads you've brought together here, the Lazarus plant, the attacks, the heat leeches, the three of you have likely spared thousands of lives, but it now falls to the cabinet to ensure this can never happen again. As such, the cabinet will be securing the Lazarus plant on Londinian all materials related to the plant will be classified to ensure no one else learns its true nature. A sound decision, Madam President. I'm glad you think so. So then, to our final topic. The Cabinet has agreed to implement a plan that will deal with the Terramorph, and now also Heat Leech presence on human worlds. In fact, we've already begun enacting measures to check all UC ports and settlements for undiscovered nests. But we all understand this is only a partial solution. The project we're embarking on will be a long and difficult one. So our first step must be deciding how exactly this all will be handled. Madam President, this microbe is clearly too much of a risk. The Asili's are the safer approach. To someone with limited knowledge of biology, perhaps? The technology behind the microbe is solved science, Madam President. It isn't dangerous. Using it to wipe out the Terramorphs would be the quickest path to protecting humanity. And fast results always lead to the best outcomes. Don't they? As you can see, there remains debate among the Cabinet. We were hoping your group might issue a recommendation. Major? We've had a few discussions, but our group is similarly split. Only the Captain has yet to weigh in. I see. Captain, I know this may not be your area of expertise, but we'd like to know your take on the matter.
Glad to see someone's not afraid of a little applied genetics. The science division is in full agreement. Let us hope this science division truly knows what they are doing. Grand threats merit grand actions, and grand actions are precisely what our group does. Order, please. And Major Sanan? Dr. Walker, you'd find this acceptable? We trust the captain's judgment. Then the matter is settled. We'll begin the process immediately. Today marks day one for the United Colonies Terramorph Management Division, making you three the founding members of the TMD. As befits such a group, the Cabinet wanted to display its gratitude. Today, we will be adding three new Class One citizens to our ranks. Class One? For the three of us? Are you joking? What he means to say is, thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. You all have earned it. Now, there's much to be done. Major Sanan, Dr. Walker, I hope you two are willing to continue your efforts spearheading the TMD's research on Mars. We'd be honored, ma'am. As for you, Captain, the Vanguard will be providing much of the on-the-ground support for the TMD. As a member of both the Vanguard and the TMD, I believe you'll have your pick of duties. Speak to your commander, Tuala, if I recall correctly. He should be able to provide you with assignments going forward, plus help you collect the benefits that come with being named Class One. On behalf of the whole of the United Colonies, you have our sincerest gratitude. This meeting is adjourned. And that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.